16, we're asked to solve the following. So we're asked to solve for f, we're trying to find f, and f is on both sides of the equation. We've got a bracket on the left hand side and we've got f add 10 on the right hand side. Let's start by expanding the bracket. f multiplied by 5 is 5f, f multiplied by negative 3 is negative 15. And that's going to be equal to f plus 10, f add 10. Okay, so that's our first line. We would get a mark for simply uh, expanding the bracket. Now, next what we're going to do is we're going to try and make all the f's on the same side. So I'm going to subtract an f from both sides of the equation. Um, the reason is I want to remove this f from this side. So I'm going to subtract an f from both sides of the equation. So therefore we have the following. We'd have 4f subtract 15 is going to be equal to 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 15 onto both sides to remove that negative 15 or to undo that negative 15. So therefore I would get myself that 4f is going to be equal to 25. And lastly I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4 to get 1f and I'm going to find that f is equal to 25 over 4. Now it's totally acceptable to leave your answer as a um, top heavy fraction like that. If you did want to you could do 25 over 4 and you could it would be 6.25 you could you could do either sometimes I prefer leaving it as um, a fraction like that. Okay so the next one we're asked to solve the following equation which involves uh, algebraic fractions. Now the key with this is when you have algebra and fractions. Let's make the denominators all the same so we can do this addition. So uh, I want to make, I look at 3 and 2 and I want to make it have a common denominator. So I'm going to make both of the bottoms have a 6 on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to write my plus in there. Now what do I have to multiply 3 by to get 6? Well 2. So I'm going to multiply the 2 on top and bottom. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom of this one by 2. So therefore I would have 2 brackets h plus 7 and I've got my 6 on the bottom. Now what did I have to multiply this 2 by to get 6? Well 3, so I'd do the same here. So I'd have myself 3 and then 2h subtract 1 is equal to 5 over 6, like that. Now we can expand the bracket, so that's 2h add 14 okay, over 6 plus 6h subtract 3 over 6 is equal to 5, 6. Okay, now what we can do is we can combine these fractions. They both got the same denominator, so I can date, say 2h plus 15 plus 6h subtract 3 all over 6 is equal to 5, 6. Now, do a bit of combining with your algebra here. You've got 2h and we've got add 6h, so that's 5h, uh, sorry, 8h. And you've got yourself 14 subtract 3, which is 11. So you've got add 11 over 6 is equal to 5 over 6. Now they've both got the same denominators here. So the only way this could be true is if the tops were the same. So clearly we can therefore state that 8h uh, plus 11 must equal 5. So we can continue our working uh, over here, say that 8h plus 11 must equal 5. I'm going to subtract 11 off both sides, okay, so that I could say that 8h is equal to negative 6, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 8, and I'm going to say that h is equal to negative 6 over 8, which simplifies to divide top and bottom by 2 is negative 3 quarters. So h is equal to negative 3 quarters is my answer. I should take a second to check those both on the calculator so I could substitute that in and substitute that in in order to check they're right. Once I've done that, I know for sure they are right. Just to show you what you could actually do, it's quite cool. On these calculators here, what you could do is you could write this with x's in it. So you could say uh, alpha x add 7 over 3 and you could say plus 2x subtract 1 over 2, so we're going to say brackets 2x subtract 1 over 2, and I could substitute a, a x is negative 3 quarters, so I'm going to substitute, I'm going to press calculate, what do I want x to be? Well, negative 3 quarters, like that, 
and I get the answer 5, 6, so I know I'm right. Similarly up here, what I could do is I could write that out as following on my calculator. I could write 5 brackets, alpha x, subtract 3, okay? And what I could do is I could substitute in 6.25, so calculate 6.25. When I sub that in, I get 16.25. Clearly, 6.25 add 10 is 16.25, so I know I've done it right.